All right, so am I. All right, what's up, guys? We yes. Got a... Yep, that's our new addition to the server. Uh, Koriyuvex. You, you want me to pronounce it? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Koriyuvex. It's a Japanese name. Ah, okay. Whoa, I can't open this chest. Um, uh, shit. <laughs> I, hadn't, I hadn't thought of that. Oh. I'm guessing, guessing lag. Probably just because I first logged on. Uh, no, I think it's in spawn protection, actually. Oh, that makes sense. Because I was going to say, it would have opened by now and I wouldn't see you running around. <clears throat> Alright, so, um, there's nothing in that chest anyway. Um, oh, alright. Yeah, I can't open the furnaces. <laughs> son of a bitch, I hadn't thought that through. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to give you up for a second so you can pick up a starter kit if you want one. Yeah. Oh, and sorry if I'm clearing my throat a lot. I went to a party last night and I kind of lost my voice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, it was one of my best friend's 18th, and I couldn't not go to that. And yeah. yeah. yeah I'm regretting it. it. I'm regretting it because I, I knew I was going to be recording this today. Mm. <coughs> well, for me, I couldn't do anything last night because I had the ACT today. I'm going to pretend as if I know what that is. <laughs> it's basically the, um, do they have a test in Australia where basically you take it, um, when you're through most of your high school and you basically take it so colleges can evaluate you, a test like that? Uh, yeah, I think, I think we call that the GAT. Mm, yeah, yeah, I think I've heard that somewhere before, but yeah, here, in yeah. the U.S. we call it the ACT. Oh, oh, wait, what time, how old are you? I'm 17. Jeez, dude, you sound so much older. Do I really? You sound like you're in, like, your mid-twenties. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've ha had a lot of people say that. Um, but yeah, so there's the starter kit. I don't even opt you for that. I guess that's... It's, this is, like, uh, probably one block outside of spawn protection. That yeah. is, that's great. Um, that's, that's just awesome. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Um, so yeah, those are the starter kits. Um, yep. Went ahead and grabbed them. You watched the video, oh, wait. so you heard this noisy-ass nether portal up here. Yep, I did, and I can hear it now. <laughs> yeah, you can hear it from the second floor of the spawn room. Um, by the way, if you're wondering what the fence over here, that's so villagers don't go up into the nether. Yeah, I remember you saying that in the video. Mm, yeah. I, I watched that whole thing. Yeah, it was only 12 minutes long. The first record, or the first yeah. time I went at recording it was about 20 minutes. And if I had tried uploading that in high quality, oh god, that would have just been... I don't think what you can... The? I don't think you can open that ah, in spawn. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to rethink a lot of this, because I didn't think about have people having to be OP, because the only people that really come through here lately is me and Julia, and she has OP as well. Well, I can open this door. But the, why can't you open that chest, then? Uh, I don't think doors count for spawn protection. Hmm. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah, otherwise it would get kind of hectic. Um, can you trade with vill- I don't- why are there so many villagers? Yeah, I can trade with them. I'm guessing- I'm guessing they- I don't know, breeding colony? Um, there shouldn't be this many. Um, I think some something glitched out, or is a little bit glitchy, because I updated the server to 1.4.7 just, uh, earlier today. Um, I am. And, uh, I think when I did that, something might have messed up with the- uh, because I have like 25 doors up in the root or the attic of this house here, and ah, uh, that would probably be why. Um, no, I <laughs> they think probably it, just caught on to those doors being there. Uh, no, they already knew they were there, but I think um, with the server getting updated, I think something might have. Is there a is there a villager up in those doors? Yes, there is. Oh uh, yeah. It's not an Good. infinite breeder though. Like I know how that works. It has to be one block higher for that to be an infinite breeder. Yeah. Um. I set that up there basically so that there would be a lot more doors active in the village. I still don't get how infinite breeders work. Like, I know I know that they work, I just still don't get exactly how they work. Okay, so basically when there's a certain number of doors, two villagers will go into a house and basically rub noses and a baby will pop out their butt. Um, basically, what, why they do that is because there's, there's not enough villagers and too many doors. Now, vill or doors... Will recognize them. Will recognize villagers, or villagers will recognize villagers that are within four blocks. But villagers will recognize <coughs> doors within 25 blocks. 
or we'll recognize a village within 25 blocks at least. So the way it works is you put a villager up in a bunch of doors, and then uh, four blocks... And it, before, and it counts as like a new village, does it? it? Yeah, it does. And the villagers that are in the bottom recognize that it's a village, but the doors up there don't recognize the villagers down here as a village, or uh, the, the villagers down here as villagers. I so get it. basically what happens is all the villagers down here get all lovey-dovey trying to breed with the dude up there to fill up the doors and end up breeding with each other instead. Ah, yep. Yeah. Mm. Alright, I didn't think it was that simple. Uh, it's, yeah, it's not that complicated. I think I made it harder to explain than it should have been. But Probably. I think something might have glitched <laughs> out with like the block or whatever when it got updated and the villagers started breeding a little bit. Um, Maybe. They'll, they'll go down a little uh, after a while, though, because the zombies here... Yeah, the zombies. <laughs> they spawn too much. They shouldn't be spawning this much in this area, because as you can see, it's like all lit up. Yeah, one thing that helps is when it's nighttime, if, you, if you've got your brightness turned up, turn it all the way down, and then you can like easily spot heaps of dark patches. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. having, your, having your brightness turned up is very deceiving. Mm-hmm. I always play with it up, but I've reckon been I've played with it up long enough to recognize that. Yeah, I've had it up a hundred percent ever since it first got a, got added. <laughs> yeah, at first I went to fifty percent, but um, I wanted to start doing common trees, and it was still too dark at fifty percent, so I bumped it up more. Yeah. All right. So you basically saw most of the stuff in the video, I think. Yeah, I think I saw all of it. That's pretty much all there is to it right now. I didn't show off the Nether in that video. Um, oh, no, you didn't, but is there, is there much to see in the Nether? No, there's not really anything to see. Um, there's basically see. a bunch of glitched... Uh, like, remember when the Nether first came out? And, uh, yeah. Um, basically how if you would go to the Nether... Portals would spawn everywhere, basically. Oh, God, I'm stuck in a chest. <laughs> there we go. That was weird. There's basically I, like, like, sprinted into it. Yeah, I, I actually did that a couple times. It's <clears throat> SMP glitchiness. Um, basically what happened in the Nether is that um, the portal there got, like, knocked out by a ghast, and it was Saros in there, and I had to throw a flint and steel through the portal, and it opened up a second portal. Ah, oh, God. And that happened twice, so there's three obsidian things overlapping each other. Jeez, wow. Yeah. Um, when we <laughs> if you want, if, if you want, I can help set up the nether hub. Yeah, that's something to do, like, to record uh, portions of, not the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, God. I just glitched into that chest. Alright, so um, I'm going to show you the plots that are currently available, and you can pick one out. Awesome. Alright, so the, what you're standing on right now is currently un unclaimed as well. Um, and this is probably the nicest plot that's still available. Um, I don't mind this one. Uh, that's an unassigned I, plot. That's. A, I like it. Yeah. I kind of like it being just in, in the snow biome. Um, if you like that, there's another one over here that has a lot of ice that is an actual player plot. Ooh, cool. Because one thing you'll come to find out about me very quickly is I like ice. <laughs> in fact, that's what the first four letters in my name means. Nice. It's Japanese. It's yeah. Japanese ice. I left this ice here because I thought someone might like it. Uh, it's like this was meant to be. <laughs> I feel think it might have been. Um, and if you want, I have a silk touch pickaxe, and I can help you get some more ice to fill in the whole thing with ice. Yep, hang on, just making fences so I can keep that sheep. I like I like that sheep. I think that's the same sheep that was like hoisted up in my plot for a while. I had a black sheep just randomly inside all my fences when I was first building my little structure over there. And I don't know where he went, but I think that's the same black sheep. Damn it. <laughs> Four fences is not enough. <laughs> Probably not. Oh god. I can throw you a couple pieces of wood if you like. Nah, I've got the starting kit stuff. Alright. But yeah. So, um, you nope, watched. Bad sticks. You watched the server tour videos, so you pretty much know what the server's about. It's basically I want a very community based thing where yep. everyone can be friends, all happy go lucky. Okay, sheep. Best now, you and me. Yay. Okay, sheep. Now, you are going to have to comply. Make this easier for the both of us. Good sheep. There he goes. And he need he needs a name. Um, how about Black Sheep? <laughs> I shall call I shall call him Esteban. That works. I don't I don't know why his name has to be Esteban, but there we go. Yep, that works. He need, he needs a sign now. 
Does anyone ever, uh, mis ever bleh, does anyone ever mistake you for British? Nope. Hmm. Cause um, a lot of Australian people that I know get mistaken for British a lot, and I guess it's because yours is very definitive, or uh, yeah, definitive uh. towards Australian. Mhm. Mm like when I hear British people in a normal Australian accent, there is a slight difference, but it's not very noticeable. With you, yeah. there is a distinct difference. Well, I am um, I am actually part British. Well, that makes it kind of weird then, because you don't sound... Like, you sound like I can hear your voice and I can automatically tell that you're Australian. I don't confuse yeah. you with a British accent. I, I do have British blood in me, so... If I do get mistaken for British, then that's why. Mm. Well... I'm going to steal this crafting table back. Well, it's not really steal, because it was mine in the first place. Mm -hmm. And so since you claim this, you can change that sign to say your plot. I'm probably going to, like, cover this with dirt and then just have, like, ponds of ice or something. Um, if you like the slipperiness or whatever of the ice, you could also just put half yeah, slabs can put, on Yeah, it. put slabs on top of it. Because like, that's what's but, with yeah. some of this road here. Yeah, I noticed. And yeah, I like it. I really like this effect. Mm -hmm. Um, are you a fan of Minecraft at all? How can, how can you not be? <laughs> that's true. And, uh, and, and I saw your tweets to Good asking him to watch your videos, by the way. Yeah, it. Um, I did. I didn't want a shout out or anything. All I wanted was him to look at him and tell me what he thought. That's all I wanted. Okay. And okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. No need to make up excuses. I get it. <laughs> but I yeah. He, like. I'm. He, I'm guessing this server was inspired by Minecraft. Uh, somewhat, but not entirely. Um, yeah. Like, like the basic idea of their server is what, kind of what I'm going for, but a little bit different. I want it to be more community based than Minecraft. Um. Yeah. Which is kind of hard to do, but what, like by that what I mean is that if you notice on the Minecraft server, um, there's certain groups of people that do collaborations. Like you don't see everyone yeah. doing collaborations with everyone. Like you would, you don't see Goo doing collaborations with say Shri. No, I don't think I've sh seen Shri do collaboration with anyone. That's true. Um, well, ex except in a except Ace of Spades. Yeah, that's true. Um, and basically what I want is everyone to be close friends like, say, Gooden B double O or Vintage Beef and Paws. Mm. Kurt and Zisto. Mm -hmm. Well, I wasn't really aware of that pair. I don't really watch many of their videos. Um, oh, it's, it, that, that stemmed from Season 7 of Ultra Hardcore. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't remember what happened in each specific season. But, Fair enough. Um... You might want to light this area up too, because. Oh, well, little. you can't can't place torches on ice. Yeah, but you can place it around it. Mobs can't spawn on ice either. Though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so I should be fine. Uh, well, I have a stone. Can... I, sh I have a, I have a stone sword. I'll be fine. A <laughs> stone sword. It will keep you safe. Hell yeah, well. Hell, I could use. I could have a wooden sword and still be fine. Yeah. So, um, quick, just a, just a quick note. I'm actually pretty horrible when it comes to surviving. <laughs> uh, well, that makes for good video. <clears throat> Indeed. I, I'm just gonna like avoid having armor, just for just for all the deaths. <laughs> um, I'll probably only use armor when I'm doing a serious cave expedition off camera. Yeah. Um, and the reason is because that is because if I could... really. Huh? But you gotta be a man and take down that creeper with, with like, fist, fisty cuffs. Oh, um, I'm a little bit lagged right now, so that's probably not a good idea. Fair enough. Well, you can imagine how um, hesitant I will be to go in hand-to-hand -hand combat with a mob. <laughs> being on the other side of the world. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, you're probably gonna get more mob in your plot than anyone else, because you're out on the very outskirts right now. Which, once good. we... Once we have more people, that'll be you'll bring them. Bring them on. You'll actually be closer to the center once we get more people going. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, bring up, bring on the mobs. <laughs> yeah, just owned a zombie. I saw that. It was nice. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, I wanted to make all the uh, plots like nice and flat with dirt and everything, but it was taking too long, so that's yeah. Uh, and also, um. The plot Julia's on is actually over nothing but ocean, 
Um, I'm not sure why she wanted it, but uh, she said she's going to do something with it at some point. Yeah. And Saros? Wow, there, there really is a lot of zombies. Then again, oh. villagers, do, villagers do actually encourage the spawning of zombies, uh. but yeah. Yeah, they, that, they do. Oh god, he like teleported in front of me. Oh my god. I'm gonna, almost, that's something. I almost that, whacked you in the face. That lag is something I'm gonna have to get used to. Um, I might have to boost the, um, amount of RAM that the server has. How, um, how much does it have? It's at 2 gigabytes, and lately it's been running fine on that, but I may have to boost it. Mm. Um, like, I know eventually I'm gonna have to, like, constantly run it on, like, 4 or 5 gigs. Yeah. Um. So, it'd probably be best to get an external host as soon as you can, I guess. Yeah, I have eight gigs on this computer right now, and once I actually have a um, a job and some income, I actually won't have to worry about that because I'm gonna start hosting it on a server, on a site, then, and I'll pay. Oh yeah, didn't get food poisoning. <laughs> I love it when that happens. Just mm -hmm. feel like such a badass. Yeah, and you feel like such a loser when you get food poisoning from raw pork or something. Raw chicken. Oh, it's raw chicken. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look at this guy. Look who spawned. Ooh. All right, now we're talking. Free iron. <laughs> don't kill him. Don't kill him. I All right, I'll, 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 take you, I'll take your iron armor then. <laughs> you want it? Nah, nah, I'm it's good. Almost, it's almost dead anyway. <laughs> it would probably break while I was killing you for it. <laughs> oh, it's not that beat up. It still has a couple I like this guy. Mm. Now, this guy needs a name. Um, I'm gonna call him Shrek. Shrek? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go with that. That's fine. It will be Shrek. I love you, Shrek. Let's give him a nickname too, Mike Myers. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> Mike Myers. I was think I was thinking Rosie O'Donnell just for the huge nose. <laughs> oh. You know, what? I like that. <laughs> and the red eyes too. Oh, and it's even more appropriate because Iron Golems carry roses. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, Rosie. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Yeah, but we wouldn't actually have him right now if the um, all the doors up there hadn't glitched out when I updated the server. Yeah. I'm guessing that's what happened. They don't, totally they don't seem to be spawning anymore, but... You can totally make an iron farm. Yeah, that's something Grant I uh, I want to do at some point too. Granted, I don't even I don't know how to do it, so yeah. Um, you need a lot of villagers, is the um. Well, I can imagine so, because you'd need steady sp a steady spawn rate of golems of rosies. Yeah, but the the idea of the, it's any iron golem spawner will spawn them very slowly. The, the the idea is to AFK there for a couple hours, and then you just have tons mm. of iron. The it's basically an idea for infinite iron. is all it really comes down to. Yeah. Which is why I think they haven't added anything like uh, diamond golems. <laughs> oh wow, lag. Oh wow, yeah. I just saw you like, yeah. In a little bit, we're gonna have to boost the RAM on the server. I think. Yeah. Oh, that w that was general lag because um, you like cut off mid sentence in Skype as well. Oh really? So if that was it was prob that was probably me. Um, maybe. Um. I will go ahead and take this leather armor. <laughs> um, one and thing... then I, I will then dye it pink. Ha. Um, one thing that I do have to note, though, is that since the server runs off my computer at the moment, it is reliant on my internet, so... Yeah. Oh, that's, uh, that's understandable. Yeah, I used to run a server off my computer, off my internet as well. It didn't go and, so well. Um, one thing that's really good is that my computer is, like, pretty badass, because if you noticed... I was playing on the server earlier when I recorded that video. Yeah. With another person, uh, while having um, Skype open, <coughs> a couple internet pages, and running smoothly with Raps recording. Hmm. Uh, but right now, even I'm getting a little bit of lag. Um, you know, I've gotten like really turned around here. I can't find my plot. Oh, your plot's um, way back over this way. Ah, right. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get used to this place. Yeah, that, um, it'd be worse if I'd let Saros design all the houses, because if you see these two that are <laughs> identical, he designed those. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it would be worse then. It's a good design, but it's it 
<laughs> they, it's they, a little it too choppy, I think. Like too much yeah. use the fences, and it's like too much. Trying to trying too hard to be fancy. Mm -hmm. And also, the villagers don't have any privacy when they're trying to rub noses. <laughs> no, because you can see right through. Mm -hmm. It's not very fair. Even the iron, even Rosie can watch them. Ah. <laughs> uh... Do you mind if I kill this pig? Go ahead. We have plenty. <laughs> if I can hit him. <laughs> Yeah, you, uh, the iron f or iron farm. Pfft. The uh, animal farm is over there too. Ah, oh, yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. Awesome raw pork, bear grills style. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. What was I gonna say? Um, yeah. Once we have, a uh, there's about eight plots oh, up right now, and like I said, hello spider. Like I said, I want about ten people on the server, so um, eventually more plots are gonna have to be set up. But that's a project for another time. Yeah. And also, um, it's not a requirement, but I'd like to keep the building in spawn until 1.5 because there's supposed to be slightly new terrain generation. Yeah. It's not a requirement, but uh, I would. <coughs> I can't like. What? What if you? Why don't Why don't you run this on the snapshot? Um. I was considering that, but the problem I have with that is that um. I don't want to run it on a snapshot unless um, it, I'm 100% sure it's a stable snapshot. Uh, that makes sense, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason Goo does it on the Minecraft server is because he has a site hosting it that makes backups every so like every couple hours. Yeah. I don't have that, so. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. I make daily backups, and yeah, a lot I can't, of work I can't, I can't wait till 1.5. It's gonna be so good. Oh my god, yeah, that's one thing the things I'm looking forward to is the hoppers and the droppers. Oh, uh, I'm not, I don't really care about the droppers, but the hoppers, I can't wait for. Oh, yeah, and, um... It'll um, be so good for mob drop farms, because you don't have to, oh, yeah. like, because you, you don't have to pick up all the drops and put them in a chest, and so you don't have to worry about them despawning. I always think, yeah, automated farms is what I was thinking of, because I had an automated sugarcane farm on the old server. That yeah. I had, um, I think I talked about that somewhere. Um... Yeah, you th I think you did, yeah. And I had it was a pain in the ass because I never really got much sugar cane out of it because it would on I would only work when I went down there to pick up yeah. the sugar cane when it was actually harvested, and so I wasn't. Yeah, the, sa the same goes for the automated um, cactus farms. Mhm, mm that's true. Those as well. those, th those things are fun. I like the automated cactus farms are really easy to make. Um, yeah, uh, they're usually made like uh, vertical though. So. Yeah. And the one um, we're going to be making in the spawn underneath the spawn house can't exactly go vertical because, well, yeah. Yeah, there's only so far down you can go. Mm -hmm. We're already at like layer thirty or twenty or something with the farms. Oh jeez. Yeah, we had a I had a slime spawn down there the other day, so there's like a couple blocks of slime chunk. Ooh, that's nice. Um, that that's one is good. crampling drops. Mm. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, and just just so you know, I'm recording this entire thing, but I'm most likely going to just cut it to hell. Uh-huh. Cuz uh, I don't feel like I don't feel like having to upload like a 40-minute video. I don't really do much editing. I have to look at a tutorial for Sony Vegas before I can really do that. What well, um what version of Sony Vegas are you using? I think 11. I I'm using Pro 12 and I'm getting pretty good at it. Mm. I can't afford an upgrade on it. Fair enough. Oh, they make it so expensive. They do. Like I think I was using um, Sony Vegas Nine for the longest time. Oh, uh, hey, this isn't in this. This isn't in spawn protection. This fence gate. Well, that's good. I'm guessing like the front half of this house is spawn protection. I'm gonna just harvest some potatoes because potatoes are the best food item in the game. Um, yeah, but there's oh, a so. like a chest full of them back up there. You know. Well, that would have been good to know. <laughs> yeah, some of them are baked even. Ooh. Got any poisonous potatoes? Mm, yeah, I think like three. Ooh, I like those things. Oh! <laughs> Until... I hear pig... I hear pigmen. Mm-hmm. They spawn quite a bit. Yep. I think I heard two of them. So where's the chest full of potatoes? Um, it's on that empty plot up there with all the chests. I am. Uh, I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to sprint, but then again, I'm going to be getting food like in literally two seconds. So why bother? Yeah, th this chest right here. There is so much food in there. I will take half a stack of potatoes and half a stack of baked. 
just take all you want, man. I, I don't want. I don't want her. I don't want her. All right. I will take. I will take a stack of wheat for breeding. All this stuff in this area right here is just for takes. Anyone? It's up for grabs, basically. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, I may as well look and look at what's in the rest of them then. Ooh, I will take this sand because glass is cool. I'll just take one of each sapling. Mm, I, That's took, all I, I took four of each. And the only what? reason was because uh, uh, yeah. I wanted an even number of every kind of tree sapling, and you need four jungle saplings to make that big tree. Actually, that's a that's a valid point. I'm gonna grab four jungle saplings because I actually have an alright idea for a for a house. Yeah, there's a like, jungle. Like, like, like when we like when we all spread out, I got a good idea. Oh yeah, like for the longest time, my um, houses were always trying to build this enormous castle, um, like on just a huge scale, yeah. like an entire biome of just nothing but a castle. And yeah, I'm I I'm not good at ca I'm not good at castles. Um, so I eventually changed my idea now, and um, now what I want to go for is an extreme hills biome, and basically bridging off between all of the mountains. I love extreme hills biomes. They are so much fun to work in. Uh, have, always... you, have, you ever, have you ever built in a desert village? Um, Those things are ridiculously fun. I don't know why, but they I really are. I don't like setting up in um deserts because simply because um like just I, I, I kind of like... like it because there's no rain. Mm, true. Rain and I don't see eye to eye. Yeah, but the, the thing I don't like about it is that there's you're, you're always looking at sand, and sand's a little too bright. Well, unless you. You know, build well around it. What's that like supposed you to mean? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Please oh. don't hurt me. <laughs> no, but like, what you do is, I what I did when I first built in a desert village. I like sort of walled it, in, walled it in, and replaced all the sand with um, grass. Because grass in a desert in a desert biome looks really cool. Yeah, it does, but it looks kind of dead. Eh, I All can right. see that. Well, um, you guys have been introduced to um, Cory. You just, just, just call me Cory. Cory. Okay, that works. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what I refer to myself as. All right. Well. All righty. Um, yeah, That's you guys good. met him. He's pretty cool. He's. I think he'll be with us for a while. Yeah. Um. One thing though, this server needs a name ASAP. Yeah, that it does. Um, the old server I'd called it War Torn, but um, I don't. What do you th What do you think of the name Mind Crack? Um, no, thank you. I think All that's right. taken. <laughs> uh, we'll have to look into that then. Um, yep. <laughs> uh, I wonder how Good came up with that. Actually, he was probably drunk. He probably was. Um, Probably got a concussion, and then the next day thought, hmm, I cracked my mind. Mind cracked. Some, huh? some shit like that. I don't know. Yeah. All right, but later, guys. You guys have met Corey. He's a cool dude. Yeah. So yep. I will Tom see and you tomorrow, hopefully. I'm yep. talking to the viewers there. See you guys next time. I'm ripping off cut. <laughs>